Hello, my name is Kevin Fitzpatrick, Senior Level Engineer for Com Solutions. Today I will be reviewing how to install the Virtual Storage Console for NetApp within a VMware environment. In order to download the Virtual Storage Console, go out to netapp.com, click on the login icon on the top right. Once you click on the login icon, you'll go down to the support link. Click on the support link and you'll be prompted to log in again. Once you've logged into the website, click on the Downloads Software. Underneath of Download Software, scroll down to the bottom and look for the Virtual Storage Console. You'll notice on the right hand side you have an option as to which format you would like to download. You can download the Citrix Zen Server or the VMware vSphere. For this example, we will be using the vSphere option. Highlight the option and click Go. You'll notice on the next page that there's two options to download, the 2.12 or the 4.0. We'll be utilizing the 2.12 since it is the most recent. Click View and Download. On the following page, you'll have the option to download the software. As you scroll down to the bottom of the page, you'll see the Continue link. Click on the Continue and you'll be, you'll be prompted with the End User License Agreement. Read through the License Agreement, click Accept. Once you've clicked, it, accept, clicked Accept, you'll be prompted as to which version you'd like to download. I will be installing this on a 64-bit operating system, so I've selected the 64-bit OS. Once the software is downloaded, you can go ahead and right-click on it and run as administrator. The installation process will begin. Once the initial screen has appeared, you may go ahead and click the Next icon. Go ahead and accept the terms. Click Next. We'll go ahead and install the provisioning and cloning, as well as the backup and recovery console components as well. Check the boxes off and click Next. Once you've selected the directory, say OK. Click Next. And go ahead and install the product. Once the install is finished, you can go ahead and click on Finish. You'll be prompted to register the product through a web interface. Go ahead and accept the security permission. Enter the IP address of the product that has the virtual storage console installed. On the below section, enter the IP address of the vCenter server and the credentials in order to log into it. Go ahead and click register. Once the product is successfully registered, you'll notice the option at the bottom. Once you've logged into the vSAR client, you can click on Plugins, Manage Plugins, and you'll notice at the bottom the Virtual Storage Console is now enabled. I'd like to thank you for taking the time to watch this video, and I hope that it was helpful. Please join in for future videos regarding storage solutions.